Welcome back, welcome back to my channel, Boo. So for you guys today, I have just a really quick update on um, my hair using the Rasu Clay. I'm not gonna speak that much. Oh God, my hat. Y'all couldn't tell me my hat looks crooked. And so I'm not gonna go too much. I'm just gonna go straight into the video and show you guys um, what happened the next day. So it's the next day. My hair felt a little dry, not too much. So I have a little spritz spritz bottle with just water and a bit of conditioner. So I'm just gonna spray that, get it a bit moistened. And as per usual, got my edges. What do you guys think? I feel like the ends are smart, the fine, but um, the roots are a bit more puffy, which is okay. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of gel around the edges. I do know I said I don't really want to put anything on my hair because that would defeat the purpose of me just cosmetic, it, but life still goes on, so and I have to go outside. It's all I'm gonna be taking is my scrunchie. My quick assumption to the reason why I had to add oils to my hair the very next day is because of the ACV that I added in the clay. That could have been the reason. And also because my hair is bleached. A pro that I noticed, however, was the use of rice water did indeed, um, I did see minor shedding. See, like, my hair felt fine. You guys already know how time consuming it is to get the perfect pineapple high top. <laughs> Might as well take my shower. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair. I'm actually heading to one of my girls' photo shoot for her brand. This is the next day. Hold on, let me just pause this music. I just spritz up my hair with some water and conditioner, add some of my oil. I'm now using a wild growth oil. oil. And then I just got a scrunchie to put around my head, which I was surprised actually worked out. Um, I didn't expect it to fit around my big ass head. So that's just the look of the day, and I am ready to go. I'll give you guys a look around. And yeah. So it's the end of the night. I took out my, uh oh. Finding, this is not even a, what the ass, how this get in my hair? Do you guys know what this is? I have no clue how that got there. Oh, so how did this get in my hair? Anyways, so after I put the spray in the oil, I went outside with my hair out today. And um, my hair still feels hydrated. Overall, I do believe I will do this method again because I love how clean my hair felt. Um, I love how soft it felt too. I wish I'm gonna try it again to see if it will last longer without the if, like without me putting oils in. Um, I love that it felt very strong right away. I also love that the the. Like this, that it doesn't take as long to do as well so that's extremely great not a messy thing to work with either um what else what are, what are the pros cons i don't have any but if i do i will let you guys know and i'll update you guys right now my hair underneath this hat is i just twisted it with some grease i used some indian hemp i have the softy version and i also have the blue magic version and with some oil, some wild growth, and I just twisted it for the most part. I'll show you guys what that's looking like. And that's how my hair has been since I did the Rasu Clay. Overall, I will be doing this again. So thank you guys for watching again. Like, share, subscribe. And to all, have a blessed day, night, afternoon, evening. Whichever time you're watching this, just be blessed. Ciao.